the new study by Arden et al. is crazy. It simultaneously reinforces some theories about Spinosaurus and flip-flopped its position in the arbitrary Spinosaurus hierarchy. Arden's team describes three specimens from the Cam Cam beds of Morocco, North Africa. 3209, a left and partial right frontal. 3210, paired frontals and parietals. And 7715, left and right frontals. The first two are assigned to Spinosaurus aegypticus and measure 114 and 113 millimeters across, respectively, when complete. All specimens had elevated orbits, like crocodiles and hippos, supporting the theory of an aquatic lifestyle. 3210 and 3209 were fused, indicating full or near maturity of the animals they came from. Also, before the crazy stuff, this paper raised the idea that Spinosaurus came to dominance as the apex predators in Cretaceous North Africa only after the Philetosaurus, giant crocodilomorphs, went into decline. So that's pretty cool. But anyway... The third specimen from the Chem Chem assemblage is the headliner, FSAC KK7715. Its frontal measures 160 millimeters across and it has a width length index of 0.93, which is even broader than Carcrodontosaurus. It was also still highly vascularized, which indicates it wasn't fully grown. Even then, it was considerably larger than the assigned Spinosaurus material, and this belonged to Sigilmosasaurus, a very close relative. It was broader and more robust of an animal, and it wasn't as hyper-specialized for aquatic hunting. MSNMV4047, the giant rostrum discovered by Del Sasso in 2005, is also referable to Sigilmosasaurus. The 2014 Abraham neotype is uncertain, since a full description has yet to be published. Arden et al. writes that Ibrahim's version still provides a reasonably accurate picture of the body plan of the Spinosaurian, which means both Spinosaurus and Sigilmosasaurus likely had small hind limbs, with the latter being significantly larger. To summarize, Sigilmosasaurus is morphologically similar to, but is larger than Spinosaurus. The largest specimens of Spinosaurus are actually Sigilmosasaurus. Both genera were aquatically adapted in their nostril and eye structure. Spinosaurus took over the rivers after the humongous crocodile monsters left, and the reduced highland proportions are still supported. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more paleontology content and read the original paper in Cretaceous Research.